That one word is why. See, because if you understand why, you can get better. And if you still don't understand, you step into it again and say, I just do not understand. But you do it with the second principle, and the second principle is what? Respect. Respect. You need to scoot in, okay, position your body. Okay, first thing I want to talk about is just, okay, how do we sit? How do we sit or stand whenever this coach is talking? We got one guy. Sit up tall, right? Stand up tall, okay? Look the person in the eye. Right, you got to train your body to do these things. Okay, second of all, respect deals with what? Your eyes, right? What else? Your ears, your eyes and your ears, okay? You listen. Another part of respect, guys, another part of respect is not only having respect for the older people, but having respect for the people next to you, having respect for your friend. All right? There are ways to be disrespectful to your friend. You guys may not understand that, but you can. All right? Like I, I mentioned earlier, talking to her, you know, if she tells you a story or whatever, be respectful. All right? If she has a problem, say she's crying. Be respectful. Try to help her. Listen to her problem. That's being respectful. Banana. Host. Shoot. Okay, shoot. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. electric what? Electric what? Electric company? What are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do with it? I'd like to own one. You'd like to own one? How are you gonna get that done? Word. Okay. What about you? Be remembered. You say what? Be remembered. Be remembered. Be remembered on it. It's not put food on your back. I mean, food on the table and clothes on your back. If we exercise, for three days a week, at least three days a week, 30 minutes per workout in the target zone, we cut our risk for diabetes by 90%. Okay. Is that a pretty big change? 90%? Definitely. Okay. Is an hour and a half a week a very big time commitment? You think everybody here can take an hour and a half off of their TV time or their time on the phone, don't you think? I know I could. All right. So, is that the only risk factor we can change for diabetes? What do you think? Nope. We talked about, uh, we all like sweet tea and sodas, right? Okay. What What's in sweet tea and soda? Sugar. A lot of sugar, right? Okay. So, if we're drinking 12 of those a night, is your risk for diabetes going to go up? Big time. Okay. What if we're eating fast food four or five times a week? Okay. What if we're smoking cigarettes or dipping stuff? The risk for diabetes is going to go up? Yes. Definitely. Coach says go. You're actually jogging, and then you can show us how you got to break down. You see that? Okay. You got to be able to transition. All right. We're going to get 20 jumping. Go. We're going to count them out. Ready? Go. One. Chest. Go. Do you feel those abdominal muscles tightening up? You can go a little faster than that. Feel those muscles tightening up. Good. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. Now, the ball was light. This isn't as light, so what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to use those muscles more. Tighten up that core. Here we go. Both hands. Two hands on it. Good. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. Tighten your abs. Sit up straight. Okay. Tighten your abs. Sit up straight. Right here. Same Sit up straight. All the way down. Two hands. Sit up no, straight. No, back, get back here. 